welcome to Math Mini Lessons. My name is Sarah, and in this lesson, we're going to express fractions as decimals. This is also a review lesson that's really helpful in fifth grade. So as I'm modeling, look out for these three parts of the criteria for success. Look to see how I accurately read and say decimals, or that I use a table to place the digits in the right place. How I use place value to express a decimal with 10 or 100 as my denominator, or how I use a property of one to express my decimals in simplest form. So let's look at our first example. Uh, what is 62 over 100 as a decimal? And so the great thing about this is, is that I can also use this to say its name correctly. So 62 over 100 or 62 hundredths. So it's almost like my numerator is the first name and my denominator is the last name. Now I can use this table to write this decimal down. What I do is I'm looking to see where does my number end? And my denominator is gonna tell me that. Because my denominator ends in hundredths, I know that my number is gonna end in the hundredths place as well. So it's gonna end right over here. So it doesn't mean that I start my six here. It means it has to end there. So here's my two. And here's my six. Now, other thing I have to do is just pop that little decimal straight down, and now I have my number. Here is 62 hundredths represented as a decimal, or you can put 0 0.62 hundredths. That's one strategy using a table. Another strategy you can use is to write down your number 62, put in your decimal, and I'm going to say the place values to myself. If I have a decimal after the two, this is like 62 ones, tenths, hundredths. Now I know I'm in the right place. That is 62 hundredths. All right, so hit pause and jot this down into your notes. All right, let's try it with another one here. I have 1.59 as a fraction. How do I do that one? So again, I'm going to use my table. I have ones. Don't forget your decimal point to the right of the ones place. Tens and hundreds. And now I'm just going to write these numbers in there. So I have one and 59 hundreds. Now I can use this to write it in expanded form. So for example, here I have one plus I have five in the tenths place, so five tenths, and nine in the hundredths place, or nine hundredths. So that's one way to express it in expanded form. Now, to also write it as a fraction, what I could do is, again, we're going to look to see where it ends. And our number ends over here in the hundreds place. So that means my denominator is going to be hundreds. Okay. And I know this is going to be a mixed number because I have one and 59. So 1.59. So I know it's one and 59. And now I'm just going to read the first name, read this number. So one and 59 hundreds. Boom, there you go. This is my number completed as a well, in fractional form, or in this case, a mixed number. So this is a perfectly acceptable answer. I've also seen some kids write this as an answer, 159 over 100, which is also valid. It's improper, but it is valid. Um, but my preference is always to write it as a mixed number. However, if you went and you put 1.59, because I see some kids do that using this method, that would be incorrect. So just make sure that um, if you're writing this, if you're expressing it as an improper fraction, so 1 and 5900, so you don't put that decimal in there. All right, hit pause and jot this one down into your notes. We have one more example to go. Which decimal represents the location of X? So which decimal represents the location of X on the number line below? Now, just looking at my number line, I can see that it has 
fractional values to the hundreds place. So I'm automatically going to assume and make a prediction that my number is also going to be in the hundreds place. So let's figure out where this is. And here I have 70 and I'm going to 80. Uh, so my guess is these are all going, let's see, so this is going to be 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. I'm just doing that count first before I express it, um, just to see the pieces. And I know these are hundreds, so this would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 76, over 100. Now I'm going to convert that into a decimal we can do it in two different ways uh, if you like the table method which I like a lot I'm just writing once I like to keep it consistent same color uh, ones tens hundreds decimal point and here I have 76 hundred so I know my number is gonna end here in this place so the six has to be in that hundreds place and have a decimal down. So I have uh, 0 0.76 or said correctly, 76 hundredths. So that's the first way I can do it. The second way I can do it is I can have my 76, add my little decimal back here. And this would be if it was a once, seven, 76. So this is once, tenths, hundreds which is what I want I want it to go to the hundreds place so boom so that's all I would be doing it'd be shifting it two times so once tens hundreds and there we go I have 76 hundreds all right, so that's it for today's lesson. I hope you found this super helpful um, with being able to now convert any fraction to a decimal using either a chart or just shifting the decimal over and figuring out how to move it. So that's it for today's lesson. Get some practicing, and I'll see you in the next one. Be well, Math Marbles. Bye.